What's going on everybody? I'm Steven and this is Bill Brothers. Today in our five minute tech tip video I have something that I actually need to fix. Uh, Brian, my brother, just put up a video about his Harbor Freight grinder. Well as you guys know, if you've been following for a while, I have a 2012 Chevy Volt. I ran into an issue. The issue was, I went out for work, and as you can see right here, this is the Voltec charger that the car comes with. I went out for work in the morning, and I normally plug in the charger overnight. So, as I go out in the morning, I unplug the charger, set it in the garage, and then drive away with a full battery. Well, I went out, and I went to pull the charger out of the port in the car, and it was stuck. So I pulled the trigger harder, you know, wiggled it a little, it was stuck. There was nothing I could do about it. So I ended up forcing, forcing. I spent about 20 minutes trying to get this thing out. It would not. I had a screwdriver in there. I, I did everything I could. So eventually I had to kind of wiggle it and force it out. And it ended up taking off the front cap of it, which actually it looks like it wasn't broken. It looks like it almost was meant to disengage. Um, so. Today, I went and I investigated what actually happened, why it wouldn't come out. Now, if you look, you can see this right here, there's a little clip here. When you pull the trigger, that's supposed to go up. It disengages the lock from the car. So when that's hooked down, it's locked into the car, and that's what happened, it was stuck. So, I looked into repairs, and you can spend $100, you can spend $200 just to get it fixed, you can buy another one, brand new, they're, I don't even know how much, but used, they're going for two, three hundred for just the stock one. And this is only the 120 volt one. So I'm, I'm thinking to myself, we do everything ourselves on this channel anyway, why don't I try and fix it? Why don't I open it up, if it's crazy, you know, complex in there, then we can always send it out for a hundred bucks and get it fixed. So this video is for anybody who has this happen to them and wants to know how to fix it, because let me tell you, it is super fast, super easy. So the first thing you want to do is take a little flathead and go to the back of the charger. Make sure it's unplugged, of course. I'd probably leave it unplugged for a little bit, just make sure there's no power in there, you don't want to get electrocuted. This plastic piece here separates. It doesn't, there's no screws or anything, you just need to pop it up. So what I did was I, I put a flathead in here, and popped it. What you'll notice is there's actually a, a strip of glue in here holding it, so it will take a little force. I already took the glue off, that's why it came out so easy, but this glue was stuck right here. It's actually like a silicone kind of thing. So once that's out, one thing you'll notice, which is kind of cheesy, is there's a lot of zip ties in this holding it together, which is weird. You wouldn't think they'd use zip ties on such a, well, pretty expensive piece. Now to get the bottom portion of the handle off, there is four uh, Phillips head screws. So they're right here, here, and then on the opposite side. I already took them off to keep it with him, you know, five minutes or so. So then you just have to slide it down and that comes off. Next you have the trigger. This is the part that obviously we're concerned about. So you, s you pull it down away from the handle and slide it backwards towards the cord. So you pull it down and then, s and then slide it. And what you'll just notice, what just fell out, is actually the problem piece. So, I'm going to explain how this works. In this little, in the trigger, there is two little grooves on each side. And on this little tiny wheel, there are two little pegs on each side. This sets right in there like that. And that's it. Well, I guess what happened in moving it up and around and banging it around or whatever, that came out somehow. Shouldn't happen, but it did. So to fix it, it's very simple. There's this little pin here. This slides into the handle here. Then you're going to want to hold this down because you don't want that thing falling out again. These two little holes align with two little pegs there. Now when you do this, you want to make sure, one, that this is pushed all the way up because it won't fit. And then you want to Slide it in until they're on, and then now this part's a little bit tricky because at the base of the trigger, there's a little nub there, and that has to be pushed in. So you kind of have to finagle it a little bit, and then you'll hear it click, 
And then you have to line up this, there's a groove up here that the, um, the tip of the trigger slides into. It's greased and everything, it's pretty obvious. Kind of have to push it in, you'll feel it click. And then what you'll notice, you'll know if you fixed it because once it's in place, you pull the trigger and you'll see this go, I don't know if you can tell that's actuating there, but it goes up and down. And that's, that's it. Then it's just putting it back together. So this, this piece here, the piece that I took off, is just slides right on the front. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that back together, see if I can put that on there. I'm actually not sure I didn't do this part yet. That appears to be a little o-ring. This piece here. Probably should have put that o-ring on first. If somebody, if you guys take that off, I would advise just keeping that on there because that's getting in the way now. Um, I got it back on. So make sure your all your things are aligned, and then it's going to be some pressure because it has a little restrictor thing there. Um, I think that o-ring is just for water. Uh, so then you want to do the top part first. Actually, I apologize. No, bottom part first because of the screws. So you're going to want to put those four screws in. And then the top part literally just clicks in. You're going to push it on. You'll hear it click. And that's it. It'll be all fixed then. So if you like these videos, if this is helpful to you, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. The reason being is the more likes and comments and subscriptions we get from these videos makes us, lets us know that, hey, we need to keep doing videos like this. If we don't get a lot of views or we don't get a lot of comments or likes, you know, that kind of thing, it kind of tells us maybe we should concentrate on something else. So I don't want, if, you, if this is helpful, I don't want this to be missed because, you know, people aren't subscribing. So my recommendation is like, comment, subscribe, and share. And check us out next time. See ya.